Hi brothers and sisters, hope you're having a great day today. Uh, this video is going to be on discernment. Um, if you're just starting out with the Lord, this is really, really good uh, for you. To, so please write it down or wait for the transcripts to come out. Um, thank you for joining me and welcome to all new subscribers. I've just been taking it easy for the past couple of days and um, haven't written anything on my community page or made any videos because I've been spending a lot of time with this. This is, uh, I'm, look, I'm looking to, to get a, as much discernment, more discernment that I possibly can get. In my 15 and a half year walk, I do find that I do have discernment, but what I'm looking for is razor sharp discernment. So um, please um, stay tuned. I'm going to be showing you uh, through scripture, um, which I did find online because you can get anything at just f with a question online, whatever search engine you look for, whichever, whichever search engine, I don't use Google, but you know, you, you find a search engine and then you can ask any question and the answer pops up. Um, I prayed for and got these scripture on discernment. So I got a couple of pages here. You can see what I did. I copied it down, and then I wrote it out. Copied down the verse, wrote it out, and I just kept going. And then it's in the next page. So I'd like to read some for you. Um, uh, this is something that you want to just continuously do in your prayer life. Um, so w what I like to do is when I'm when I'm coming before the Lord uh, for His glory. On my channel what I like to do is I like to just bow my head in prayer and say uh, Lord this um, video is a video uh, the first video didn't take so I am praying again for this to go through um, let the words of my mouth and meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight Lord as I bring this um, together for those who are my brothers and sisters who are looking to get more on discernment uh, the first one you want to note is, if you really want your eyes to be opened, pray Ephesians 1, 17 and 18, and you want to pray this to the Lord, uh, you want to turn it around and pray everything in the first tense. So no matter what I say here, in these pages here, I'm just going to give you an outline. I'm just going to give you a few, and then you can take off and just do what you want. Um, you can take it from there. I'm going to give you the gist of what I do. Um, I don't just pray and say, Lord, I'm asking for uh, discernment. You want to put it into prayer. You want to put it into, because, okay, you want to put it into motion because he's listening for his own words to come back to him because his words never come back to him uh, void, okay? The Lord's words never come back to him empty, okay? He always puts them forth. That's why we want to uh, do this according to what the Bible says on discernment. So there's 2 Timothy 2, 7, and it reads, Consider what I say, for the Lord will give you understanding in everything. Well, that kind of sums it up. Consider what I say, for the Lord will give you understanding in everything. I'm going to turn it around and say, Lord God, I'm reading from 2 Timothy 2, 7, which says, um, I'm going to put it in the first tenth, First tense, Lord, consider what I say, for Lord, you will give me understanding in everything. But don't stop right there, because the Lord is, um, according to the words in, um, let's see, the verse in Hebrews I'm trying to think of, I think it's Hebrews 11, that says the, the Lord is a rewarder to those who seek him, and um, we shall be approved of, you know, we want to study to be approved before the Lord God. So study to show yourself approved. And so he's waiting and he doesn't want just one little blip. He doesn't want one little um, verse. He wants you to go through the motions of what you're looking for and he will grant it. Um, so you can, you can do these things and you can be in agreement with somebody else that you get, you know, discernment according to the words in um, another part of the Bible called the gospel, which is in Matthew 18 verses 19 through 20. Now I live by this Matthew 18 verses 19 through 20. You have to be in agreement with somebody else. Um, only one time did it not, did it not work for me, but most every other time that I've prayed, I've been in agreement with some, somebody else, a sister in the Lord usually. And we're both touching on something. We're both asking the Lord something that we're going to get this, get, 
you know, we're praying for this and we both agree on it in Jesus Christ's mighty name, in Jesus' name, and he's in the midst of us, he shall grant it. That's Matthew 18, verses 19 through 20. But now, so if you have like a prayer partner, you would say, I'm praying for discernment or I want more understanding or I'm looking for more knowledge. And will you help me with this? And I pray it, just be, be, um, be touching upon it, be in agreement. Um, it just takes two to be in agreement with something. Look up Matthew 18, verses 19 through 20, okay? So this is about discernment. So here's one that I put an asterisk on, uh, the star, the little asterisk, he, Hebrews 5, 14. But solid food is for the mature who, because of practice, have their senses trained to discern good and evil. So that's a good one to, to do. Hebrews 5, 14. Check. Uh, I liked uh, two, 2 Timothy 2, 7. And then there's Psalm 119, 66. Teach me good, in, teach me good discernment and knowledge. For I believe in your commandments, Lord. So that's what you would say to the Lord. Um, just like that. Psalm 119.66. Um, that's a really wonderful psalm. It's very, very long. It's probably the longest. I think I believe it is the longest psalm in, in the Bible. Psalm 119. Um, Philippians 1.9. I have put an asterisk on. And this I pray that your love may abound still more and more in real knowledge and all discernment. That's for your brethren. That's for sisters and brothers you want to pray for. So you're praying for someone that you know. Uh, maybe you maybe you led somebody to the Lord or something like that. So you want to pray Philippians 1.9. You get the gist of it, I know. But I'm just kind of like giving you like hint or, uh, tips and, and hints here. Um then there's Proverbs 2, verse 3. For if you cry for discernment, lift your voice for understanding. So you would say to the Lord, Lord, I am crying out for discernment. I lift my voice for understanding. There's um, 1 Corinthians 12, 10. And to another, the effecting of miracles. And to another, prophecy. To another, the distinguishing of spirits. Well, the distinguishing of spirits is what you want. You want to pray for that. There are, um, um, I, I know that you you guys um, realize that we're not alone in this in this universe here. And I did a video a couple of videos back on uh, hybrids, hybrids, and um, we walk with um, we walk with them, and sometimes it's very very hard to tell. Um, it's very difficult to tell. That's another reason why you want to put this into motion and pray for discernment. Because you don't want to waste your time giving a, a hybrid, someone who's not even a real human being, um, the gospel. They can't get saved, okay? So pray about all these things, okay? Pray about it. Um, whether you've been walking with the Lord two years, five years, ten years, or twenty-five years. I know some people that have been walking with the Lord for a long time, but they've never prayed for discernment. They've prayed for other things. They have lots of gifts. Maybe they have a wonderful singing voice or they, whatever. You know, there's a long list of what you can have for gifts. Um, but they lack discernment. And that's really an important one in this day and age. Uh, Psalm 1912. Who can discern his errors? Acquit me of hidden faults. So this one you want to pray to the Lord just like that. Lord, who can discern his errors? Lord, acquit me of, of my hidden faults. So, you know, you really have to have a really strong relationship with the Lord. Um, 1 Corinthians 2.15 But he who is spiritual appraises or discerns all things. He who is spiritual versus he who is carnal-minded and not saved. Okay? If you're not saved, you're you're carnal minded and you're not spiritual, so you can't spiritually discern things. But he, the First Corinthians two fifteen clearly tells us, he who is spiritual appraises all things, yet he himself is is discerned by no one. Uh, let's see, Malachi three eighteen is a really good one. So you will again distinguish between one who serves God and one who does not serve Him. That's one you want to note. I put an asterisk on that. Um, 
First Kings 3.11. So back in the Old Testament, this, this still applies. You just want to read it to the Lord and say, Lord, I want this. God said to him, because you have asked for this thing and have not asked for yourself long life, you have not asked for riches for yourself, nor have you asked for the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself discernment to understand justice. So go back and um, put a little mark on 1 Kings 3.11. You want to get the 1 Kings 3.10, 1 Kings 3.11, 1 Kings 3.12. You want to get the whole context, um, the verse before and the verse after. But you do want you do want to say this one to the Lord. You want to just incorporate these into your prayer life. Um, Colossians 1.9. For this reason also, since the day we heard of it, we have not ceased to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. That's a really good one to pray if you're just starting out with the Lord a couple of years or whatever. You want to pray this, um, and you pray it for others if you're an intercessor as well. Psalm 119, 125, I am your servant, Lord. Give me understanding that I may know your testimonies. So this is just an idea uh, I'll just a little, um, just to let you know that there's many, many, many um, scriptural verses out there on discernment. All you have to do is um, ask on your um, smartphone for them. Um, verses just coming before the Lord and praying for discernment. These are um, scriptural verses. And um, I'm trying to look for one more to read. How about um, 1 Corinthians 2.14? But a natural man does not accept the things of the Spirit of God. Why? Why does, a, why does a natural man not accept the things of the Spirit of God? He can't. He doesn't have the Spirit of God in him. Um, he's carnal-minded. Um, for they are foolishness to him, and he cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. You have to have the Spirit of God. So this is just a few um, verses, brothers and sisters. I ho hope and pray that you bring this to the Lord. And you will um, learn for yourself that this is something you can achieve in the name of Jesus. I pray you have a blessed rest of your day, everybody. Thank you.